But many are speculating that he's the thin end of a big wedge, even foreshadowing a Me Too moment for Rat. Was he a misogynist? Yet many are estimating that he's the slim finish of a major wedge in any event. Hinting a Me Too second for Rara, was he a sexist in a manner he's self-centered, he's an exceptionally self-centered individual, he needs to focus on him, part-time put stock in him, did he so encircle himself, uh, with youngsters, uh, that essentially go out and do whatever, uh, so did he certainly, all the rage of late everybody's humming about him via virtual entertainment, making a wide range of images. And making fun of him, it seems like each day there's some new tattle emerging. And it's truly placing him in a difficult situation. In the midst of this disarray, Worse Morgan concluded it was the ideal opportunity to mix the pot significantly more by bringing Imprint Curry and DJ Vlad onto his show to examine the entire Diddy show and Print Curry didn't pull any when it came to sharing his encounters. Working with Diddy, he depicted Diddy as somebody who's really controlling and likes to be the focal point of consideration, as per Curry Diddy's really stiff-necked and can be truly self-centered, continuously needing to ensure he's the principal center, what was he like to associate with? When you were working with him, as far as you might be concerns his method of the expressway, you know exceptionally controlling. Is um he's a strong-headed individual, ums he's self-centered, he's an extremely narrow-minded individual, he needs to focus on him. When they bird further into the discussion about how Diddy treats individuals, ladies, particularly in Print Curry, was really dull, he said that Diddy doesn't actually recognize anybody, whether they're ladies or men. It seems like he sees Diddy's methodology as lovely general, absent a lot of respect for who's in a bad way. Did he was from your experience? Did he approach ladies with deference? Or with disregard, nobody gets truly to regard. Gain that appreciation, he doesn't give regard, not to females, not to a ton of men, not to makers, um, companions. And the visit took a go to Diddy's genuine ability. And we should say Curry didn't precisely praise him enthusiastically. Diddy a 6 out of 10, which isn't precisely a rave survey, Curry, made sense of that he doesn't see Diddy as a characteristic ability or an innovative virtuoso, rather he believes Diddy's fundamental expertise lies in his magnetism and his capacity to sell himself, well as opposed to any certifiable creative ability on absolutely on ability. I think he comes in likely around a 6 on scale, from 1 to 10 he's not skilled in light of the fact that he's a sad extraordinary maker, presently DJ Blad had something else altogether on things he bounced into the discussion with a guard of Diddy filling against a ton of what Curry said Vlad featured Diddy's skill for spotting and sustaining ability raising how he took craftsmen like Biggie Smalls and changed them into geniuses as per Vlad having the option to find and lift a few specialists to that degree of distinction certainly qualifies as a gigantic ability um I truly can't help contradicting Imprint Curry. I feel that Puffy uh, is very gifted somebody like a big deal who is only an underground rapper is overweight and has a languid eye and to transform him into a hotshot and to have the option to do this with a large number of craftsmen many years that is an enormous ability Vlad appears to be really hopeful about Diddy chances of getting back in the saddle in spite of all the show whirling around him he highlighted Kanye West to act as an illustration of how rapidly the general population can move their viewpoints. Recall when Kanye confronted monstrous kickback and lost billions in bargains, yet when he dropped new music it shot directly to the highest rated spot flat figures. This demonstrates the way that individuals can be really neglectful and assuming that Diddy discharges something that truly impacts them, they're probably going to move past every one of the ebb and flow discussions on the off chance that you take a gander at last year. Kenny was getting dropped by everyone. Uh. He had lost a billion arrangement with Adidas at uh, each large company from General Uh. And presently look he has the main tune in the nation, right I imply, that is unquestionable. So it only sort of shows that individuals have a short memory. 
and assuming that you put out something that individuals appreciate, they'll neglect an excuse and partake in whatever workmanship that you have he accepts the main situation where Diddy could genuinely be dropped in a more long-lasting way, we'd be on the off chance that he wound up in a circumstance like R. Kelly confronting serious lawful repercussions short memory. So it'll be what at last occurs. And the main way he could truly get dropped is in the event that he gets placed in jail like A. R. Kelly, as per Vlad, as long as Diddy avoids that difficult situation, there's consistently a way to recovery in the public eye. While Vlad is voicing a few and number suppositions here, not every person is ready for his take A few fans are distrustful. And there are murmurs that perhaps Vlad isn't the ideal individual to talk for the whole hip jump local area. They bring up that since one craftsman returns quickly doesn't be guaranteed to mean another will particularly in more favorable conditions. Now in the midst of all the heap of lawful difficulty, Diddy is confronting he attempted to convey a sort of confident message by sharing a mysterious post about remaining predictable in the tempest on his online entertainment, not crazy, not mad, not restless, not unstable, yet consistent individuals are humming that it's his approach to tending to all the backfire he's been confronting of late anyway. That move hasn't exactly worked out the manner in which he could have trusted in light of the fact that it wound up causing more ATT. To notice his previous discussions, first off the voiceover in the video, is, in all honesty, T.D. Jake and we as a whole realize about the charges twirling around T.D. Jake's of late, supposedly connected to Diddy's scene gatherings and some really disagreeable stuff. So rather than compassion, Diddy's getting much more blowback for it to fan the shoot at genuine oldie. But a goodie has surfaced thanks to page six. They got their hands on a VHS tape that was initially conveyed as an encouragement to Diddy's 29th birthday celebration party back in 1998. You're warmly welcomed to praise the introduction of scene Puffy Co. Puffy T. Diddy T. Diddy P. Diddy. I thought his name was Pop Daddy Pop P. Diddy. You are genuinely welcomed to praise the introduction of P. Diddy. Watching this almost six-minute video is like venturing into a time machine that zips you back to the level of the awful kid records period. It's loaded with elite celebs alternating building up the party Oprah Donald Trump Ellen DeGeneres Chris Rock Mariah Carey Will Smith Tommy Hilfiger Clive Davis Thus substantially more, it truly exhibits Diddy at the pinnacle of his social game, yet presently taking a gander at that video. With regards to Diddy's momentum circumstance, it's sort of piercing you need to ponder where are those big name companions now when he's trapped in this tempest. It seems like a considerable lot of them are missing not moving forward to help him likewise on the off chance that the reports are valid about what goes down at Diddy's gatherings. Anybody appearing in spite of realizing the arrangement may very well be complicit in anything that's occurring in secret. Even Feline Williams has had his say cautioning people to avoid Diddy's gatherings cause they're never only your common social events. Right a cuz P. Diddy be needing the body. And you got to let him know, no you got to let him know, no I did I how about we start with Opera Winfrey for quite a long time. There's been some discussion about Opera being a digit of skewer and supposedly associated with some not 